So, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Matan from Melvich Gaming coming at you with a brand new deck profile, guys. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in like a few days or a few weeks or whatever it is. I don't know how long it's been, but it's because my tripod broke and I do not currently actually have a tripod. So, guys, do forgive me. I am doing this one-handed. Um, this is going to be a lot harder than usual because I'm so used to using my tripod and now my tripod broke. So, I have to do this with one hand um but before we get into this profile guys i have a few shout outs i'd like to give out um first off shout outs shout outs to game nation best team shout outs to my boy john davis hall shout outs to oh guys definitely check out um um elite ceviche that's the name of his channel check him out in the uh, check him out you guys will will enjoy his content he has lots of amazing Yu-Gi-Oh content box openings um uh, duels um deck profiles he has everything so just check out elites of each that's his uh youtube channel name um so shout outs to them uh shout outs to uh, to my boy the six Yu-Gi-Oh. shout outs to my boy milano Shout outs to my boy Dalex. Shout outs to everybody else. Um, shout outs especially to my boy Cody Ryan for hook, for helping me with my deck and helping me to and like teaching me the combos and everything like that because I am still learning my uh, Salmon Greats. So guys, do forgive me if I cannot give you much of explanations of what the cards do because I am I am still learning it. I'm still reading up on all the cards, everything like that. Um, and yeah, um, without further ado guys, let's just jump right into this profile. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you guys think. Um, again, I am doing this one-handed, so do forgive me on that. If the phone shakes a bit or anything like that, I do apologize. I will be getting a new tripod as soon as possible, and let's just get right into it. Enjoy guys. So we're gonna start off with the main deck. Um, so for the main deck, we're running, of course, um, one gazelle, your foolish burial, basically, and like your main searcher of the deck. Uh, three foxy. Foxy is basically your pot of duality, and then also, if I'm not mistaken, um, the second effect. You can actually special summon um, this card from your graveyard when uh, when you do have an activated um, spell or trap Salomon Great card on the field. It, you can special summon Foxy back to the field. Three Spinny. Um, for Spinny, if I'm not mistaken, guys, please do forgive me if I if I make mistakes during the explanations. Um, just comment down in the description and let me know. If I if I made a mistake on the on the explanation of a certain card, and just let me know, okay? Um, Spinny, when this card is on the field, it, um, monsters gain 500 attack points, and then and then also I can uh, I think it's once per turn I can bring back I can bring back my Spinny from the graveyard, special summon it to the field, and then once uh, it leaves the field, it gets banished. So. Three spinny, it's really good. By the way, guys, this, guys, this is a 45 carded list. So, I think 45 or 46, one of two. Um, oh yeah, by the way, before we continue, shout outs to my boy, uh, John Wilkin, for hooking me up with this awesome play mat. IP Mascarina right here. Absolutely gorgeous. Comment down below if you guys like this mat. Um, two Jack Jaguars. Um, I am getting a second uh, super one because my whole deck is hollowed out already, so I might as well get my second. Um, one Falco, one Foul. You know, not many people are running this card, but me personally, I actually really like this card. It's uh, it's quite good. I'm still learning how to use it, but I've seen I've seen quite a few deck profiles and I've seen quite a few duels of people using this card. It's actually really good. Uh, one lady debug, pretty self-explanatory. We all know this card sucks ass, but at the end of the day, it helps because it's it's your, I guess your rota of the deck. 
basically, just in a monster version. Um, three flame buffalo, so basically three pot of greed, technically speaking, on legs. Um, one backup secretary. I just got this card, so this card is still new to me. All I do know is, is that I could special summon, it, special summon it from my hand. So, that's pretty good. Um, two C archivers. A lot of people say to only play one. Some people don't play any, but I like it at two. Uh, hand traps, three ash. Sorry guys, this is very hard to do with one-handed. <laughs> um, three Phantasmi. Three Bell. And two Impermanence. So, let me explain the hand trap lineup. Why it's like this. Number one, because I can't get a third Imperm right now. And number two, a lot of people are saying that not to that this is too many hand traps. In my eyes, the way I look at it, I actually really like this hand trap ratio because Ash Blossom is obviously necessary. Same thing with Phantasmies, especially for Salomon Greats. Bell is just broken as shit this format. And same thing with Impermanence. Impermanence is a hit or miss kind of thing. You can go for it. And you can you can play with it or you can play without it. It's it's really every player's preference. I've seen people not not even running imperm in this deck, so it's really good. Though I really like imperm. Onto the spells, guys. One circle, of course. One sanctuary. I'm playing two will. Um, I was I was thinking of bumping this thing up to three i'm not sure if i should guys please comment down in the description and let me know if you guys think i should bump will to three or keep it at two um three sign of mining of course two pot of desires um i've decided to actually drop desires down to two because like realistically i'd rather banish 20 cards and banish 30 because like i as, as much as I do need the draw power, I don't feel like decking out. So, Two Pot of Desires is actually really good. Um, for those of you Salomon Great players out there, I do suggest only running two of this, not three. Uh, one Call by the Grave, super. Uh, one Rage. So, I was running two, but I... Um, a couple of my friends told me to only run one and to go three roars, which is exactly what I'm playing. Um, I realistically, I really like three roars. I think three is really good. It negates monster effects, spell and trap card effects. This card's completely off the chain. Just busted and amazing. So we'll see. Maybe in the near future, I'll, I'll bump um, Rage to three, uh, to two, sorry. Um, three Solemn Strikes. You guys know how busted this card is in uh, in Salad. Like it's crazy good. With the with the price of only fifteen hundred life points, who's complaining? Much better than Judgment. Um, let's see here. Let's not move on to the extra deck. By the way, guys, shout outs to Face to Face Games for hooking up these amazing sleeves. Um. These sleeves are so beautiful. Look at that. Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. So gorgeous. If you guys do live in Toronto, definitely go check out Face to Face Games. They sell lots of good stuff. Magic, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever you guys need, they have it. Go check them out. Lots of amazing product. Lots of amazing stuff in that store. They're located on uh, near Greenwood Station. Go check them out. They're like a five-minute walk from, uh, from Greenwood. So definitely go check them out, guys. Um, so three wolf to start off three bay links. by the way guys the noise in the background is my AC so do forgive me um, two helios 
Now this next card that I'm about to show you guys is just temporary. I'm waiting to get my access code talker in the mail. So for right now, I am running one Boral Sword, but once I get my access code, I will be doing an updated version of my of my uh, of my deck list, and hopefully I'll have a tripod by then. Because I know this video is this video is probably gonna suck, and it's not gonna be very good quality because of the fact that I'm doing this one-handed. Boral Sword is good. I mean, it attacks twice, and it helps, I guess, for now. And it's also a 3K beat stick. So, and it's a Link 4. I'm not complaining. Whoop. Um, one Transco Talker. I'm waiting to get the, my ultra rare one in the mail. I'm probably gonna do an updated deck profile for this, guys, after after I finish hollowing out this deck completely. Because I am missing two cards to hollow it out. And, and I'm missing my uh, access code, which I'm waiting to get in the mail as well. Shoutouts to Bryce Watson for hooking that up. Um, so yeah, uh, one Splash Mage, of course. One Update Jammer. Shoutouts to John Davis Hall for hooking this up. Um, one Phoenix. I like Phoenix a lot personally because I can, if it's co linked, I can pop a card on my opponent's side of the field. I think it's only spells or traps, but. This card's really good. Now, guys, the moment we've all been waiting for, the card that has finally come off the ban list, and the card we've all been waiting for it to come off the ban list, our horse itself, Mirage Stelio. Guys, I've been waiting for this thing so long. I'm so happy this thing is back. Unfortunately, it's only back at one, but one is all we need. We're good to go. Salad is... Is gonna be is gonna be tier one again, hopefully. And this card is just gonna is just gonna like bomb the field like straight up. This card's crazy good. I'm so happy it's back. This is the reason why I came back to Salomon Greats. Konami, please, for the love of God, please keep this thing in the game. Do not ban it again, please. The the card is. Good, but it's not busted. This thing can stay in the game finally. So one Mirage Stelio. Lastly, for the ex for the extra deck, we're running one Abyss Dweller. Completely crazy good. It's a level four. Basically stops you from from using your graveyard. So this card's really good. On to the side deck. My side deck is not exactly the best thing, guys. So please don't bash me in the comments about it because I already know my side deck could use some work on it. But I'll show you guys my side. Anyways, I wasn't going to show my side deck at first because I don't think my side deck is that great. But I'll show you guys what I have. So to start off, we're running three Nibirus. You don't, I, I, a lot of people are, are saying to me to main it, side it, main it, side it. Comment down in the description, guys, and let me know if you guys think I should main it or side it. I'm not sure. Um, three draws. Card's broken. We all know that, that card isn't necessary. Um, three uh, Skullmeisters. Pretty self-explanatory. Let me move this up so that way you guys can see everything. Um, three Cosmic Cyclones. Ultras. Oh yeah, guys, if any of you live in Toronto, I'm looking for three super rares and three ultras. If you guys have those, please just uh, PM me in the description below. Let me know. I will I will reply to you guys. I'll give you guys on uh, for those of you that do have them at a good price. I'm willing to buy or trade. I will share with you guys my Facebook if so you guys can contact me and we can work out a deal. But I want ultras and supers. Um. One Harpy's Feather Duster, shout outs to my boy Cedric for hooking this up. Thank you so much, Cedric. I will never get rid of this card. You never have to worry. Um, one Reincarnation, I'm looking for the secret version of this as well. If anybody has that, I'm looking for it. And lastly, one uh, Red Reboot. I'm not too fond of this card realistically, so, but it was uh, my, my friend John's idea for me to run it. But uh, I know my side deck is not exactly the best, guys. I do apologize for that. But, um, yeah, this card, this is my side. 
Hopefully, you, you guys think it's okay for Salmon Grates, but I don't know. I might change it. I might not. We'll see. But it works out for me for right now, so I think it's pretty good. With all that being said, guys, um, that's it for the deck profile. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, your support. Um, I really appreciate all, the, all you subscribers. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Help me grow strong. Let's make my channel the best it can be. And let's get this video to 100 likes. All right, guys. With all that being said, Eldritch Gaming, peace and out. Peace.